everyone, it's Darby from RejoiceAndCreate.com and I have a very quick little last minute uh, gift card holder and Ghirardelli holder to show you and it's this one. And of course you might recognize these, they're the chipboard tags and I still have a few left. Um, I got them at a hot buy at Michael's for $5 for the box and actually I'm finishing up this set which is a 60 piece set and this is what I have left from my uh, two boxes. If you don't have one of those, the tag itself is four and a quarter inches long by two and three quarter inches wide. And if you want to create the exact same shoulders as this tag has, uh, measure over five eighths inch, five eighths of an inch into the tag on the top and seven eighths of an inch down the side. And then go ahead and just cut that corner off and do that on both sides. And um, you could do that as well. But if you happen to have a couple of these tags left over, you can make a very quick teacher gift with a couple of Ghirardellis and a gift card. And other than the two tags, the supplies are really minimal. What you need is a piece of cardstock that is nine and one quarter of an inch long by three and three quarters of an inch wide. And then whatever you want to embellish it with. Now this one I have embellished for a teacher as a teacher gift because teacher appreciation is coming up. We're getting quickly to the end of the school year. But I'm also going to make one for a grad and I'm using the gold because blue and gold are my grad's colors. All right, so let's go ahead and get scoring. All right, so go ahead and score the long side at three quarters of an inch, four and one quarter of an inch, five inches, and eight and a half inches. Turn to the side and you want to score at three quarters of an inch on each side. And I put one side up and then turn the side around and put the other side up because that way I know if I didn't cut my cardstock exactly the right width that these scores would both be the same. All right, so go ahead and fold and burnish. All right, so we'll start at the ends and we're gonna cut this rectangular piece in the middle straight up on both sides, right at the score line. So straight up on the side, because that's gonna be the front and we want that to be neat. And then slightly notch into that square and then just take a very slight angle off of the outside. Do that with all four of the ends. Okay, now we'll go to the sides and we're gonna cut that just like we do a normal box. On this rectangular side of the score line, cut straight up and slightly notch into this little square tab. And do that for both of the sides. All right, so let's go ahead and put the bottom of the box together first. And these tabs will go with the bottom side of the box. So go ahead and put some glue on there. And then on the, in, on the outside of the front tabs, put some glue on there as well. All right, so I'm gonna move these up and we're gonna put our front up and just make sure this, the corners are square. And because it's glue, I'm going to just hold that down for a moment. All right, go ahead and put the back of the box up too. All right, now for the front of the box, I like to put some glue on the outsides of the tabs, or on the top of the box, I should say. So put some glue on the outside of the tab, and then we're actually gonna form the top of the box around the bottom, so hopefully it'll fit a little bit better. So go ahead and put that down. Put both of these sides down, tabs down, and then close the front one over it. And that will give you a nice fit. Now normally I'll go ahead and punch a half circle opening on this one, but because we're gluing the tabs on it, we won't need that this time. All right, just go ahead and hold that until it's glued. All 
All right, now, so these don't stick out too much. You can round them, but I'm just gonna go ahead and, and cut an angle off of them, both the top, both sides, rather. And I tried to make it even, but I just eyeballed it. All right, so let's go ahead and close that up. And now, remember, this is our hinge side. Actually, I'm gonna turn it to my right. This is our hinge side. So when we put the tag on, the top of the tag is gonna go up here, and the bottom of the tag is gonna line up with the bottom of the box. All right, so let's go ahead and get some glue on here. And it gives us a chance to wiggle the tab tag around until we have it right. And go ahead and center it side to side and make sure the bottom is lined up right at or barely inside the bottom of the tag, okay? And there's what I have, it's just a sliver of the tag that I can see. All right, now let's go ahead and do the bottom as well. All right, so go ahead and line up this other tag and make sure you have it lined up on the bottom as well and make sure they're even to each other. All right, once you're happy to make sure that they're both even and the bottoms are lined up nicely, then go ahead and open it up and we'll press that down. Okay, now this will fit a gift card. So let me go ahead and put a gift card in. And I'm also gonna put two Ghirardellis, the full-size Ghirardellis in there. I'm sure you could find other things to put in there as well if you want. We'll go ahead and close that up. And let's go ahead and embellish it. Let me bring my other one back in. And this is one I made for the teacher. I looked through all my stamps and found out that I did not have a teacher stamp. So what I did was I uh, stamped out teacher by using this alphabet from the Make a Difference stamp set, because that's the one I have. Certainly use what you have. If I was doing more than one, actually, I would print them out on the computer because I would make it so much easier. The A plus I used with the um, Letters for You set, and the stamp set. So I used the A plus on that one. For my grad one, which I'm doing next because my grad's colors are blue and gold, um, I went ahead and used the one from the number of years set, but I didn't have an octothorpe, I mean the um, the pound sign, the hashtag, the, the number sign from the same stamp set. So I had to use that one from the layered letters alphabet to uh, find that one as well. Again, you could print it out from the computer and then you know it'll all fit together. So what I did was I just stamped it out. I just layered the grad on top of it, used some gold stars because I have a gold star grad. And let me go ahead and glue that on. Okay, and I'm using some of this, I guess it's the crinkled ribbon I had left over. This is actually my very last piece of Knight of Navy. So I'm using it up. You could fit money in here as well if you're given a cash present to your graduate. And I'm gonna tie a bow. My grad is actually my son but um, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a bow because I tied a knot on the other one for a male teacher, but you can go ahead and, oops, maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I was a little bit over uh, ambitious. All right, here we go, we're gonna try again. Okay, so there we go, a very simple one, especially if you have those tags already, um, but I'll go ahead and post the size of the tag if you wanna cut your own. I would just double layer the cardstock to make it a little bit sturdier. So I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy project. It works really well for the last minute, especially for teachers if you need to make a few teacher presents. And if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to be notified of new videos as I post them. For more information, please go to rejoiceandcreate.com, although this one may not be up there until this weekend. And as always, until we meet again, I hope your days are blessed. Bye.